My name is Kanijata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, oh, like yes. You snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. Congratulations. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story that is going viral, mega viral, featuring a black woman who decided to take the mic from a person that's officiating a graduation because she felt like there was some type of racism that was being done towards her because she was not allowed to speak as long as she wanted to speak at graduation, I guess, before receiving her diploma. Again, I'm not sure exactly how this graduation uh, was supposed to go in regards to whether or not people are allowed to speak or how long they're allowed to speak or whatever, but apparently she felt slighted. She felt like there was some racism done towards her. So she decided to snatch the mic from the woman that was officiating the graduation and then have a complete meltdown on the lawn in front of everybody. And I want to talk about this story, but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know, if you like my channel and you want to support my channel, you can check out my merch. Like, for example, the BLM shirt that I'm wearing, Buy Large Mansions. You can check it out at my website, gformanbcp.com. Get 20% off using discount code TEAMBCP. So without further ado, I'm going to roll the clip that is going viral of this woman having a complete meltdown. And then also the backstory behind it, uh, as she explains that she did this because she felt like that there was racism being done towards her. <laughs> so without further ado, roll the clip. Okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Kari Jata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, I don't like yes. how you snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. Congratulations! Here's my story time. Basically, what happened was um, I was walking on and we had to announce our names and say our name before we get on the stage. So I was saying my name and she literally, I was, my name is long. My name, obviously, I have like three syllables in my name. I'm not going to say exactly my name right now, but okay, just so you get a point. So I didn't even finish getting to say my name. And then the people that went before me and everything, they all got to say their name, their major, and even extras. And me and another girl noticed that she was putting the mic, she was pulling the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, but that was the tea. So, I mean, I just couldn't let her... I just couldn't let that happen because I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much shit to graduate that I just felt like I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not a problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day. I don't want to violate anybody. But that's what she did. She didn't even let me finish speaking. She put the mic down, cut me off. And that was the only time I was able to speak. So I just feel like that wasn't right. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. That's her side of the story. Now, before I get into how I feel about this, uh, I want to play clips of people who are basically condoning this type of behavior, letting her know that, yes, girl, you did the right thing. You shouldn't take no disrespect, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. They're always trying to take away our moment. The world is racist. Everybody hates us because we're black, right? That's what people basically are saying in response to this. Take a look. Just when I say I love to see it, I'm, I'm I'm glad she did that because I'm so sick of this genre of palm color racist people that want to steal monumental milestone moments away from black people. People work so hard to graduate. People work so hard to hit these milestones, and you get joy out of diminishing that for a black person. I am sick of it, y'all. I'm so glad she shook that woman up because that's what we needed to be done. Because y'all be playing with us too much. Stop playing with us. What kind of sick person, what kind of nasty person are you where you get joy out of stealing a moment like that from somebody? Just nasty work. Just nasty work and we're tired of it. We are so sick and tired of y'all. First off, to that young lady, congratulations, kudos. You ain't did nothing wrong. For y'all sitting here making videos, talking about she needs to know how to conduct herself, and she could have been act acting in a different way so they won't be looking at us crazy. Who the fuck is they? Why is it that we always have to conduct ourselves? That girl, I'm sorry, that young woman 
said that the lady gave everybody a chance to say their full name and their major. And she said that when it came to other black people who grabbed the mic, she saw that the woman was taking it back quickly. So when it was her time to say her name, the woman snatched the mic, just like these people be snatching the moments of black people in their graduations, like the young boy who couldn't graduate because of his dreads, like the young girl couldn't graduate because people in the crowd laughed when she did the giddy, gritty or whatever. It's moments like this that other people take away from us that we want to step back and judge how we react you do something to me had that been me yes i probably would have done the same thing because if i'm graduated i'm very proud of what i'm doing and you allow me time to speak and say my name and you snatch it bitch i'm gonna snatch it back i can't stand y'all get on this app talking about oh she need to learn how to conduct herself according to who who laid rules down for anybody to learn how to conduct themselves you snatch that lady should have learned how to conduct herself okay and if there was a time limit, she could have said it's a time limit. But it wasn't apparently, according to the young woman, who had the mic snatched from her. This is so, oh my goodness, baby, kudos to you. Congratulations. I hope you succeed in every endeavor that you endure. Well, the unfortunate reality is that with that video now on the internet, it's going to be a lot harder for her to succeed because if I am an employer and I see that type of behavior, there's no way I'm hiring her, <laughs> right? Which is exactly why this is stupid. This is why this was so dumb, and it's even dumber that you have idiots on the internet out here defending this type of behavior over perceived racism, okay? Okay, I want you guys to understand this woman's story. I'm not saying that it ain't true. All I'm saying is this. She says that, well, I felt like when all the black people went on stage or was up to speak or whatever, she was taking the mic down real quickly from the black folks. <laughs> now, that's her perception. Whether or not that was actually reality is a whole different story. We really don't know. It's just amazing to me how when these videos come out, the only moment that you see is the moment in which she snatched the mic from the lady. Uh, they forgot to post the rest of the video before where you can see, okay, was she actually allowed to say her whole name? Right. Uh, or is this just something that, again, she felt like some slight was done to her because she wasn't allowed to say everything that she wanted to say. OK, which, again, I've seen some comments in the comment section like this one right here from this person, uh, S. Morale Angelus. OK, this person said they was at the graduation ceremony. Now, again, I'm not sure if they were actually there. This is just what they're saying in the comment section. And this is their side of the story in regards to why the mic was pulled down so fast uh this person says i was there at the ceremony i was one of the graduates this is extremely uh embarrassing and unprofessional the creator says what exactly happened uh she is stating false claims no one was allowed to say their majors or extras just their name which explains the mic being lowered uh so fast the mic was lowered after saying your name there was about a thousand students or more there so it needed to be quick we were only allowed to say our names no one said their majors or extras which would be the main reason as to why the professor lowered the mic so students uh could keep on walking so they did this to everyone they never single out a single person who tried to say their name only yeah so again this is a random person's testimony and saying that they was there now do i know if they was there no i don't know if they was there but i'm just saying there are counter stories here that explain why this professor lowered the mic quickly in which this person may have felt slighted because, in, in my opinion, if I had to guess, just based off what I've been seeing, if I had to guess, this is the type of person that, like the last story I did yesterday uh, about the two uh, gay black men that was in uh, Bed Bath Beyond buying high-ticket items, uh, they got the police called on them because they were suspected of shoplifting, they're looking for racism, right? You're looking for racism where there is no racism. You're looking for microaggressions. Uh, You're looking for transgressions that are being done against you because you want to be a victim, right? You want to have your moment, right? Where you can go viral and get all the attention that you think you deserve, okay? Because you think that you're a victim, right? That's what's going on here. And some people disagreed with me yesterday when I did that story about those two black men talking about how, oh, it's embarrassing to have the police called on you and yada, yada, yada. And I'm sitting here like, well, n nobody would have known that these two were suspected of shoplifting 
if they didn't make a big deal about it, right? Because nobody approached them and told them that, hey, we think you're shoplifting. They only found out, they only knew because they overheard the police saying, yeah, I don't think they're stealing anything. But otherwise, nobody would have said anything to them. They would have known that, hey, they were suspected of shoplifting. They would have been let go. Nothing would have happened to them despite being black, right? Because the narrative is that if you're black, you know, when you get a police call on you, uh, then apparently, you know, you get beat up or you get killed or something like that. None of that happened, right? They were let go once it was obvious and clear that, hey, yeah, they're buying this stuff. But they wanted to make a big deal out of it. They wanted to make more out of it than what it is. And that's what's happening right now, right? This lady is, I think, making a lot more out of this than what it, it is, okay? I think at the end of the day, if, if I had to guess, my gut feeling would tell me that she wanted to go up there and do a whole bunch of extra stuff, say a whole bunch of extra stuff that she wasn't allowed to say. She got mad about it because she just realized, hey, I'm not a special snowflake that's allowed to just say and do whatever I want because I'm graduating. And she got mad, right? She got upset. And then she wanted to throw a temper tantrum and make it all about her because, again, it's all about her. These people are entitled. They're entitled, okay? And they will use any small little micro transgression or aggression that happens towards them, call it racism, and then try to uh, use that to justify inappropriate behavior, right? And this is not a good look. Right. And the people out here that are defending this stuff, again, you're not looking out for her best interest because, again, what happens is, is that people see this, employers see this type of stuff. They say, yeah, I'm not going to hire this type of person. Right. They're going to start to look at her social media. They're going to see that, oh, this person is a little ratchet. <laughs> right. We're going to stay away from these type of people because, again, clearly this person is not a very professional person. They don't know how to handle conflict. OK, because she could have handled it in a better way. If you felt like there was some sort of perceived aggression done towards you or that you weren't given an opportunity to say your whole name or whatever, then that's something that you should have took up with the school after the fact, right? And if you were recording it and you saw that, hey, they weren't letting me, you know, say my whole name, then that's something that you could have put out there. You could have took up that issue later, okay? And maybe got some type of formal apology or something like that. But no, 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 no. She wanted to make the moment about her and she wanted to do this because, again, it's all about her. It's not about anybody else. And she went out there and she did that. She snatched the mic from that lady and then threw it down and made a complete and total fool out of herself. So I want you guys to understand the perpetual cycle here, right, that leads to degeneracy, right, the black victimhood cycle, which is a black person perceives a real or imagined injustice. They overreact. The behavior is excused because rather than condemning the behavior, because there's a claim of racism, people say, hey, well, it's justified, right? It's justified for black folks to act like this. And then the standards of behavior for black people are lowered, which then turns around and leads to the first thing, which is black people perceiving that there's some type of injustice and overreacting to it. Because again, these standards of behavior for black people are so low because all a black person has to do to justify their outrageous behavior is to say, well, I think that there was racism here, right? The white man, the white woman did me wrong. Therefore, I should be allowed to basically assault people and, you know, get away with what I want to and get away with whatever I want to get away with. And that's just not the case. We don't live in society like that. Just because you think somebody did something racist towards you does not give you the right to act like that. There are ways to deal with a perceived injustice in a way that is professional and that has decorum, okay? And you can get the resolution that you want, but this is not what you do, right? This is not what you do in any scenario like this. And again, this is embarrassed. This type of behavior should be condemned. And because it's not being condemned, this is the reason why black folks are in this situation they're in. This is why so many stereotypes against black people exist is because of stuff like this and then black people turn around and defending it and saying it's okay for you to act this way. Because any other race of people would say, no, it's not okay for you to act this way. There are other ways in which you can handle this type of situation uh, without embarrassing yourself in public at the graduation. This is why they don't allow the extra stuff at the graduation. This is exactly why they don't allow you to dance and for you to do all all this other stuff that you want to do at graduation is because of stuff like this. This is exactly why. Because every single time you people want to make more out of it and what it is, and then you end up embarrassing yourself once people tell you to calm down or that, hey, you can't do this or that you're not a special snowflake. So like I said, man, at the end of the day, again, another embarrassing moment here for black folks because people are defending it, okay, more than anything. And this has to change. 
This has to change. You cannot continue to use perceived racism as an excuse to act a fool and to do stuff like this that is embarrassing, not just to yourself, but to your family and to black people as a whole. I'm sick of it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.